Welcome, Tolkien fans, to another episode, another exciting episode, I should say, of Middle Earth Essentials. And today we have for you two Hobbit journals. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's weird for guys to have journals. No, it yeah. isn't. No, it isn't. It's weird for guys to have diaries. Yes. Right. Okay. It's weird. Well, these guys are... Guys have journals. These yeah. are journals, then. But actually, neither of us... I have... This is mine. And this is Andrew 19, Andrew 30s, and Feynor has absolutely no contribution to this. <laughs> no, I don't have any, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get something in relation. Well, you just say your dad has this version, right? Yeah, but it's mine now. Uh, I don't write in it though. Yeah. It has all of his writings and everything. Were the last pages for you, Sam? No. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we haven't written anything aside because if we did, you certainly would not be looking at them. We'd blur it out or something. Yeah, I thought like, oh. You know, I thought, well, wouldn't it be strange if one of the days we accidentally opened to it was like, today, I had an epiphany. <laughs> and then it just went on to describe the epiphany. That was uh, <laughs> quite strange. But anyway, we're just going to show you, this will be a very quick video, we're just going to show these to you real quick. So we'll go ahead and show you the Lego one first. I've had this for like over a year now. But it's the Lego The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey Journal got this for Christmas last year and it's got a picture of Bilbo and the dwarves on the cover. Can you hold the camera please? Uh, there you go. And Gandalf. And Gandalf of course. Dwalin, Gandalf, Bilbo, Nori, and Thorin. An odd bunch. That's not very nice of you. <laughs> well, they didn't include everybody. They should have included everybody. That would have been a big cover. Not, not Thorin's key though. And then the map so you get an unexpected gathering. And then inside, and there's like the Misty Mountains, Middle Earth. And inside, you just get some pages, and Nori and Dwalin are on every single page. Oh, that's uh, gotta be. There's Dwalin. Okay. And there's Nori. It's gotta be annoying seeing them all the time. Yeah, there's nobody else. Nope. They don't have just either that. of my favorite dwarves on there or anything. Bofur and who? Oin. 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 Then on oh, the yeah, back, like it's go, MZB. There's the Shire MZB Imagination LLC. It has 80 sheets, measures 7 inches high and 5 <laughs> inches wide. Yeah. It's made in China. It is no hinge key. What well, isn't it? made in China? True. Uh, or Taiwan. Well, or Thailand. Or Rivendell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the price on here. Who cares? I don't even think you can get it at the stores anymore. And here's this strap here, so that in case some nosy person accidentally knocks it over <laughs> and looks inside, well, they can't accidentally knock it over because there's a strap on here. So then, if the strap came off, you'd know that someone had deliberately looked inside. <laughs> and then you could send but, out, uh, then you could send out an arrest warrant for the But, but Bilbo, <laughs> what if somebody went like this? Red, and then close. Then it. they're really, they're, then they're really sneaky and nosy. But well, that doesn't look. really take a lot to just. No, it doesn't. Hmm. You could put more straps on there. You could put and a key. You no, can I... memorize the position that the strap oh. is in. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of trouble to go through. So, not too private. There's not like a key in the lock on here or anything? No, no hinge key or did No. But overall, it's an okay journal. So would you like to show us the other one, Andrew? Okay, so here is this I got for my birthday. Um, yeah. It says The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Shows the Lonely Mountain and Smaug at the top. It's very, very nice. Uh, it's a leatherette in addition with an emboss yeah. embossings, uh -huh. as you can see. And then on Wait, the back... Can you show the spine? Oh, this the one? The spine. The spine. No, the spine. What? Oh, that's... This. this. Okay. It's pretty nice gilded golden texts or images, whatever you want to call it. That kind of looks like the eye of Sauron. Uh, yeah, the eye of Sauron. What does? These thingy. No, I don't. <laughs> Feynor knows everything. They don't look like it at all. Uh, could you show us the back, please? It has the... Oh. Un... Um... Oh, but, I but, memorized this one. What is it? I know parts of it, but I don't know all of it. Um, when the stand, thrush knocks... No, stand by the gray stone. Yeah, stand by the gray stone. When the thrush knocks, and the last light of Doran's day will shine, shine upon the keyhole. No, that's not right. It's something like that. that. That's yeah. just right there. 
this text is that. And that is uh, the height and width of it. Oh. Okay. Well, in any case, it says something cool like that. And then yeah. there's a creepy hand with very long fingernails pointing <laughs> at the door. Do you, yeah, do you know I what that, that is? I more? think that is very strange. What do you do? I have you... no idea. But it's obviously what Tolkien meant to be on a dwarven map, so maybe that's what the dwarves' hands were supposed to look like. That's creepy if yeah, it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> creepy. creepy. And then inside? We have, well, first of all, we uh, have this a map of Middle Earth. We've seen this map before. You've seen it before, yeah. haven't you? Gollum. And uh, then. Check out our map of Middle Earth review, which is ho hopefully on And the then all of the pages are just that uh, with a creepy eye of Sauron type of thing. No, it's not. Fire Pretty stuff. boring inside, yeah. but on the outside, it's and then interesting. This is strange. Because the one that my dad and gave me. And products, LLC. The one that my dad got, gave me actually has a second map. Hmm. Mm. So I get to look at it twice. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. So, anyway, that's really all there is to tell you about these, but we'll go ahead and rate both of them. Oh. I'll rate mine, you rate yours. Okay, I guess. I mean, keep in mind we were just reading a journal. Yeah. <laughs> so, if we give it a 10. You rate everything. Doesn't mean it's miserable. Well, of course weird. we do. Uh, That's what we're here to do. Why are you rating everything, though? You don't need to rate everything. You can just review it and say, well, yeah, this is pretty good. Should we just tell them our thoughts, then? Yes, thoughts. Okay, thoughts. That, that's what if I If you do. like keeping journals and you like The Hobbit... On my reviews, get it. I do... I don't do... I don't usually do ratings. I do my thoughts. Well, if you like journals and you like Hobbits, yeah. get this. But then if you like... If you like journals and you like Hobbits and you like Lego, then get this. Well, I like all three, but... Yes. But he doesn't like Lego as much as I, I would. Say well, if the well, like, edition. like if you love Legos more than the Hobbit, then get that. If you like Hobbit more than Legos, get this. Yeah, they're both very nice versions. His is probably a little nicer. Oh but God. Like yours is cool and everything, but it's more of a, you know, kids one yeah. because yeah. of the Lego, and so you stereotype it immediately. Uh, yes. yes. Whether or not you want to. So. Uh, stereotype, stereotype, stereotype. That's all so, thanks for tuning in. Check out some more Middle Earth Essential videos that are perhaps a little more interesting. We've got four different versions of the Hobbits of the Hobbit book in one video coming very soon. We also have the long expected, long awaited for, awesome video coming soon called Bilbo Brigo 9's Rick Tour. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, and we. We'll see you next time.